How much did you pay for your car? Uh, 200,000. About 300. Supercars in Singapore, I can tell you only 5% in Singapore. I mean, if it's a Singapore citizenship that can afford it. Hey bosses, it's Elena from Asian Boss. Singapore is one of the most expensive cities in the world. But did you know that it is literally the most expensive place to buy a car? Take this car for example, a Toyota Prius that would usually cost $20,000 in the United States. But guess how much it costs in Singapore? Two times more? Three times? We'll try to ask some car owners in Singapore today to see how much they pay for their cars. Let's go. Nice to meet you and we have a random question for you today. Are you a car owner? Yes. Yes. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, I mean my husband owns the car but I'm the one driving it. Yeah. No, I'm not. So can we ask why you don't own a car? Uh, I don't think I have enough income to own a car right now. No. no. <laughs> and why do you not own a car? I think MRT is quite well built. <laughs> to get from one end to the other end of Singapore is Max one and a half hours. <laughs> I'm using my mom's car, <laughs> so but I don't I don't own my own car. No. So why do you not own a car? Uh yeah well I mean I would like to but uh it's too expensive. Uh yes I'm a car owner. So what are you driving right now? Um a Mercedes A one eighty. Yeah. And may I ask how much you paid for your car? I think it was upwards of about eighty to ninety grand. It's a second hand car, yeah. Uh, i4 And uh, how much does an i4 cost? Well, 300 300 plus plus yeah. Toyota Corolla A very old model I think I paid around 120 Yeah, for my car Yeah, 110, 120 Around 110, the same price yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, I'm driving an Audi A5 Coupe uh, 2.0 litre uh, It's a turbo charge uh. I bought it uh, 8 months ago and I bought it at 78,000. I'm driving a BMW 116, I think. Bought it like almost six years ago, so about 103,000, yeah. Uh, Mercedes GLA. How much did you pay for your car? Uh, 200,000. Mm, so can I ask what you do for a living and how do you afford your car? <laughs> I work in finance, I work in finance and wealth management, so uh, yeah, comfortable compensation, so yes. Um, I work in a bank. So how do you afford your car? Is it just an upfront payment or do you finance it or...? Um, it's a loan, yeah. Finance with a loan, yeah. I'm in the construction line, so yeah, I, I bought a car because I needed it to like see clients and go down on site, so yeah. My husband works in, in Hong Kong right now, he's with an insurance company, yeah. I co-found a, a business with some friends, yeah, in, in HR consultancy. So what made you buy a car in the first place? Mm, we've always owned a car all this while. I guess we started out as uh, having small children. You need to ferry them all over the place. And then um, because where I'm living now is not so convenient for public transport. So I guess having a car really helps with like groceries and all kinds of uh, tra mode of transport. Yeah. Uh, it's for my parents. Uh, to put it bluntly, so they're coming of age and they only have a couple of years left that can drive, so yeah, hence I decided to buy a car. And I can afford, I can afford ish, so yeah, if I can't afford then I definitely wouldn't get one, so yeah. For me, a lot of it is uh, uh, um, ferrying my children. Like, I mean, like going to school, for example, like you know, the school starts at 7 30. If, if my son is to take uh, uh, the public transport, even even uh, the chartered, uh, you know, school bus, they he has to leave, I think, home like before six o'clock in the morning, which means he has to wake up before five o'clock, and I, I don't know how he can last the school day. But uh, you know, if you have a car, at least you can sort of push it to closer to seven o'clock. You know, so that that's one thing. And with a young child, emergencies and uh, yeah, so for us, it's basically that like it's. Um, it's to get to places conveniently and quickly too, and even work-wise, um, yeah, it definitely is not a luxury. Do you think that people really need a car or is it more like a luxury? 
uh, for me it's a luxury yeah because uh, need and wants there's two different things yeah so because you know that in Singapore the the price is rising up not even cars lah all the like uh, your food wise and all this and then actually for your car right you said you mentioned it costs about 300,000 can you take a guess how much it would cost somewhere in the US for example maybe 40, 50 K USD here yeah. US for this car, I think it's only be about like 10, 20, 20, 20 K? K. Yeah, yeah for it's a new one. For a new one. Yeah. And if like for second hand, maybe even like it go down to 2 K. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. So what you're paying is actually about five, six times as much as people pay in other countries. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's, I don't have much opinion. It's more like, it's where we it live. Is, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. It's where we live. I can't really country. complain much as well, yeah. And what car do you drive? It's a uh, Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, it's eight years old now. And how much did you pay for your car? I think at that time, uh, altogether, would have been 120000 including COE. How much do you think this same car would cost somewhere in the US, for example? 35000 maybe, or 40000 <laughs> And that is one third or less than one yeah. third, right? How do you feel about that? Actually, I mean, I, I really feel disappointed uh, in that sense like, and the reasons why the prices of cars and, you know, it's, it's like a random thing. I can understand if, you know, if it's a second car or third car of an individual. Uh, so I, I, I think there's no justification for the first car, um, especially in a family. I mean, once you have a family, then you realize why, because, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, the, the public transport is there and all that, but it's, it's not easy, you see, so, yeah. Very disappointed. Well, I guess we have learned to accept that if you are living in Singapore, this is a fact of life. Yeah, you don't have a choice. I mean, if you want to own a car, then you just have to deal with the kind of exorbitant price that you have to pay to own one, right? Otherwise, you just contend with the public transport that you... I mean, it, it's a good system that we have, but I guess why people have own a car, I mean, from my opinion, is the weather makes it very difficult for you to take public transport, right? You have to walk to the MRT, you have to walk to the bus stop, even if it's a five minute walk, 10 minute walk, it can be very, you know, challenging for most people. So I guess that's why people still want to own a car here, despite the kind of price that we have to pay. How many supercar owners do you think there are in Singapore? And how can people afford to buy a supercar in Singapore? Supercars in Singapore, the owner, everything, always, the bosses, always the bosses. I can tell you only 5% in Singapore, I mean, it's a Singapore citizenship that can afford it. And how do you perceive car owners in Singapore? Uh, lucky. <laughs> are they seen with a little bit of like envy or are they mocked for having a car when you don't really need a car? Mm, I haven't heard of anyone mocking other people for having a car actually. I think it's just like, oh, that's way more convenient. You don't have to take public transport yeah i think it's a sensitive topic to talk about it um i think traditionally it's a status thing people view people with cars who are more like affluent you know so that kind of like drives all the aspirational people to get cars even though they may not be able to afford you know a car according to their you know income it's a good luxury to have i think having a car is i feel uh, it's better than not but yeah i don't think it's a necessity yeah but i would say that uh uh, at least where I work, I think a lot of people are they, they are like, they, they are quite envious if, if others have their own car and they're able to drive to work. Yeah, because it saves a lot of time and it's more efficient. Yeah, you, when 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 you are not in that situation, I suppose you will think that you know why. I mean, why do you need a car? Uh, you know, from the outside, like it's um, like why you have a bigger home and a smaller home and all that. Like you know, it's it's to make life a bit more convenient. I mean, do we all need to suffer, <laughs> uh, you know, equally? I, I suppose those, yeah, who who don't have it would, might might feel that way, lah. But it it is a legitimate thing, lah. I mean, of course, you look at somebody with living in a bungalow and say, "Wow, why must you live in a house with so many rooms?" But I mean, uh, you know, you you have your reasons. I cannot say that uh, they like to mock each other. A hey, you take bus, a hey, you take car, a hey, you are rich, I'm not. No, sometimes you can see people that take public transport or public buses is much more richer than people that have car. 
is because of they know what their needs and they know what their wants. For us that have our own property, our own uh, cars, it's not okay for them to mock people that don't have their own uh, property. And are you aware that Singapore is actually the most expensive place in the world to buy a car? Yes. Yes, I am. And would you say cars are getting more expensive or less expensive? Uh, definitely more expensive. Uh, I think there's a high concentration of very wealthy people coming into Singapore more and more. And that's pushing up the prices for cars a, a lot. Yeah, because COE is demand and supply. Up. <laughs> yeah, up. I think it will definitely go up as well. Yeah. As someone who wants to buy a car, how do you feel about that? <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> I think it's going to be tough in the future, especially since everything else, like prices for everything else is going up as well. So standard of living and everything will be a struggle <laughs> in the future. Yeah. Why do you think it is so expensive? Uh, I don't want to get into it so much lah, because it's, uh, it's a, a sensitive issue but then but for me my two cents is I think they want this country to be respected and then to be known as a clean city and also a business minded country in the world uh, so they want that standard uh, for me lah and it's already very expensive, but do you think that car prices will continue going up in the future? Uh, yes, because I just wrote a news. Uh, they're saying that they will uh, increase the bidders in Singapore for the COE uh, price. So uh, I, think, uh, I think it will rise up. It will. <laughs> yeah. So actually, uh, people in other countries may not know what's COE. So can you explain a little bit about what's yes? What is a COE? COE is like certificate of owner entitlement, right? To own the car, so you have to buy it and last you for ten years. So it's basically like a license to own the car in Singapore. So on top of buying the car itself, you also need to buy the license to own the car. Yeah, and there's a limited supply of COEs that the government releases into the market. The 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 price of you know the COE is 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 not even equivalent to the car it's like two or three times more than the car itself you see so uh, yeah i mean yep that's disappointing and that's uh, by bidding la so i suppose those people with money can bid more they think that by implement this coe they want to reduce the traffic control in singapore because singapore is a small country so they want to control the traffic by that coe it can go up to 152,000 right now only for the paper value excluding the body so if the body itself is 50,000 you add on to the COE paper value is 152,000 so the car price total is 202,000 maybe Mercedes S class in the US that already cost 200,000 right how much would it cost in Singapore half a million Half a million, and maybe six hundred thousand around around there lah. Plus minus for a new car. Lah. Okay, so what would you say to people in other countries who may not know how much it costs to own a car, but they're looking to move to Singapore and own a car? I hope you have a really good, well-paying job that will give you this car. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Now don't do it. <laughs> If you can help it, yeah. Foreigners coming here, I think our transport system is really, really uh, good and, and the network is, is really good. So it's really not necessary to own a car. I mean, we're so small, right? Getting from one place to another doesn't take you like two hours. So I guess, you know, having without a car is fine. Yeah. Uh, depends on which country they are from. If they are from Malaysia, they want to come to Singapore to buy a car, a big no. It's seriously a big no because of the COE paper value itself, you can buy six unit of any cars. Lah. I mean like one, one paper value, you can buy six units there. So why you want to waste your money, come to Singapore and buy a car here? So uh, yeah, so for me, it's ridiculous. Lah. If you don't plan uh, to stay here for quite some time, don't buy a car.